My friends, what's going on guys? My name is Kai, welcome to the Sober Living channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Please consider subscribing. What I love to do here is just give tips, hope, and advice to anybody out there suffering from an active addiction, letting them know that there is hope, there is help, and there is a path to recovery. Guys, today I'm almost 300 what am I, 369, almost 370 days sober. Excellent. Guys, it's Thanksgiving in Canada, and I am just taking a break from cooking my turkey and my stuffing and my potatoes um, to just get out and go for a walk because I've realized that I've been stuck inside all day long, and that's just never good because I truly believe that, again, you need to at least get out for a walk at least a half an hour a day. It's good for you. But guys, today I wanted to talk about something that I hear a lot around the holidays and it's a lot of uh, those drunk uncle jokes. And uh, not necessarily drunk uncle jokes, but situations involving a drunk uncle. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's a thing in your country, but here in North America, having a drunk uncle is a very common thing, you know? They're always causing a ruckus wherever there's a family gathering to be had. So, guys, what I want to say is, don't be the drunk uncle this holiday season, guys. <laughs> what a bad reputation to have. And now the thing is, um, I have a sister, um, I'm not an uncle yet, and uh, but I could just imagine how awful it would have been to deal with me during the holidays. I don't even remember the holidays um, from when I was drinking, so I don't know whether I was good during the holidays, I don't know whether I was a wreck during the holidays, I don't remember, nobody's told me, I don't know. But I can't imagine that with my drinking, I was in very good shape, you know? Um, <clears throat> I certainly wasn't in uh, good, sh good enough shape to present myself to my entire family um, or go to get-togethers and stuff like that. So guys, if you are an uncle, don't be the drunk uncle. Basically, just don't be the drunk family member that everybody expects you, um, that expects is going to screw up the family outing, because that's just terrible, you know? And uh, the great thing is, if you turn from the drunk uncle into the sober uncle, like I have, every family outing, um, instead of it being... Um, something to be ashamed of, something to be scared of, something to be worried about, like how am I gonna present myself, how am I gonna do this? Once that drunk uncle gets sober, um, all those family outings are actually a lot more wonderful because everybody's just having a nice time and you're not ruining anything or getting sick or doing anything like that. Um, so guys, if you are big drinkers, um, or whatever your drug of choice is, uh, and you have a family and you're going to a family gathering, uh, try your best not to use at the family gathering. At least try to cut it down a uh, tad. I want you guys to be safe, you know. I want to, you guys to remember too that I know that you guys are adults. I'm not against drinking. I'm here for people that feel like they have a problem and they need help. If they feel like that, then they can reach out to me. I'm glad to do that. Um, but I just want you guys to be safe this holiday season. So that's about it for my rant on uh, being a drunk uncle. So other than that, guys, it's an absolutely beautiful day. I thought that um, the, the sun was shining down here very, very nicely and uh, I was in my pajamas and I took a look out the window and I was like, oh, I need to go film like right away because this sun is gonna be gone and within five minutes the sun was gone by the time I got here. So that's why I'm in a scarf and everything like that. So the sun immediately left. Either way, um, guys, I'm getting close to 300 subscribers. I'm really looking forward to that. I really appreciate all of the support you guys have given me uh, throughout this journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I couldn't have gotten here without you guys, so thank you. I appreciate that. Um, 
yeah, that's about it. So I've got a turkey cooking in the oven, so I gotta get back home. And um, yeah, oh, I saw that movie Amsterdam last night. It was all right, it was all right. I don't have much to say about it. <laughs> um, other than that, guys, please stay sober. Uh, if you're not staying sober, please stay safe wherever you are in the whole wide world. Remember, your parents love you, and uh, every one of your friends wants you to wake up tomorrow. Remember, all my Canadian friends, please, uh, please stay safe tonight. Uh, I know that you're all partying big time tonight for Thanksgiving. Uh, try to uh, try and limit yourself and uh, just be good. It'll make you feel a lot better tomorrow. Uh, you don't want to have a huge hangover and also be throwing up a huge turkey dinner. Uh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Alright guys, um, God bless you and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye everyone. Look at the nice area that we're in. What a beautiful area. Bye guys.